Hey guys, welcome back to Okabode. So this is gonna be a very casual, kind of quick video today. Um, it's gonna be less of a production than some of the other ones. Basically, I've been getting a lot, a lot of messages. <laughs> yeah, I love you too. I've been getting a lot of messages from you guys um, with ruggable questions, so um, I figured if some people are asking these questions a few times, then that means there's probably a lot of people who have these questions but aren't reaching out. So um, I just wanted to answer some questions for you guys about our ruggable rugs. This isn't going to be the full, full update, um, which I'm going to wait about another month before posting. Um, but it should answer answer some more questions for you in the meantime, okay? Um, I just got back from work at the gym and I am still sweaty and smelly, which means the dogs love how I <laughs> smell right now. I know it's gross, you nasty animals. Why is he so lovey today? I love when you love me, honey. See, I am literally sweaty. Let's see if we can actually um, get focused here. Speaking of updates, if you guys aren't already following us on Instagram, we would love for you to join us there. Our Instagram handle is oak underscore abode um, and the reason for that is because you will see kind of how the new ruggable is progressing on instagram because we do post quite a few stories there um, so if you want to get kind of a sneak peek you can always follow us on instagram and as always if you're not already subscribed to our channel we would really really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button and hang around with us in the future um, i do want to thank you guys really quickly for subscribing so far because since we hit over a thousand subscribers last week we are able to monetize our channel now which means we can make a little bit of money off of it um, which means we can push out more videos for you so thank you guys and it also means that puppies can have some more treats. Oh, can I have a kitty? Can I have a kitty? Thank you. Thank you. Also probably going to get a little bit dark here in a few minutes, so I might need to switch up the lighting. Sorry for the inconsistency. All right, getting right into some of these questions. So I'm going to answer some questions that have been left as a comment on um, our YouTube videos, the Brutally Honest Ruggable Review, and the Ruggable Responded to our Review Update. So um, I'm also going to answer some questions we've got via email. We got a few questions via the contact form on our website. Our website is okabode.com if you want to check out more about us there. Um, and we got quite a few DMs. Um, what was the other one? Some comments on some posts as well, okay? So let's see if I can pull up a few here. All right, a few of the really popular questions we got is which ruggable designs did we choose? So the red ruggable, that one over there, that ruggable is called the Cambria Ruby design. So there's a Cambria Sapphire and a Cambria Ruby. Um, we went with the Cambria Ruby for the red rug. And then for the more beige colored rug that you saw in our other videos, um, that one is called Gaba. Gaba? It's called Gaba Sand. Um, and that one is a really nice neutral as well. So those two designs that we chose are the Cambria Red and the Gaba Sand. I think I do need to turn on some lights here. Hold on one minute. Whoa, that totally changes the look. All right, well, let's roll with it, okay? All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, this isn't really a question that I need to answer, but if you go through the comments on both our Brutally Honest Ruggable Review video um, and also on that um, Ruggable Responded to our review video, if you go through the comments, you're gonna see a lot of different stories from people who have Ruggables. A lot of them have really similar experiences to ours. So if you're looking for more clarification, I would go through those stories, um, read those stories. There are a few people who said um, they didn't have the issues that we had, but most of them are saying um, that they did have those issues. So if you want more clarification, you can definitely read some of those comments as well. One of the questions I got a few times, does our vacuum tear up our ruggables? So the first time I was asked this, I responded with no, because it had not as of yet. However, a few months later, we have been noticing quite a significant amount of fraying on the edges of um, our ruggable, mostly the ruggable that we've had longer. So I am gonna post more about that in that final update video in about a month or two. I'm gonna post some close-ups so you guys can see what's happening. At first, that wasn't an issue for us. I think maybe our vacuum just has a little bit less power than some of the more powerful Dysons. Um, but over time it is becoming an issue as well, unfortunately. All right, this question I have been getting a lot is, have you tried rug tape on your ruggables? Um, and suggestions to go ahead and try the rug tape. I haven't tried rug tape and here's why I'm not gonna do it because um, the hardwood floors in our house are one of the best parts of this 100 year old house. They're original to the home. Um, I know that some people said they haven't had trouble with rug tape ripping up the hardwood floors, 
but we just had our hardwood floors refinished and I just am not willing to risk it. Um, right now, these rugs don't necessarily pose a safety hazard for us because we're young, we're mobile. Um, so if they're curling, we can pretty much move around them all right. And I'm not willing to put our hardwood floors at risk um, because a product is turning out to be a little bit faulty. So I'm probably gonna go back to normal rugs before I try rug tape because we did have normal rugs in these exact same spots before we got the ruggables. We had them for about two years and we never had any curling issues at all. So um, I know it's not the placement of the rugs and I know it's not just that all rugs curl because we didn't have that issue before. And before I start putting our floors at risk, um, I'm probably just gonna switch back to a regular rug. I got some questions on the fading of the rug and just some comments in general that said um, that the fading is to be expected. And just like I said in that last video, I totally agree that the fading um, is not an issue. Some person did say that they suggested um, washing with a four colors detergent, which I think is really smart. So we're gonna definitely do that um, with that new rug especially. But like I said in that last video, that's not really a dock against ruggable. That's just sort of what happens, especially with sun exposure. Um, so I'm not too worried about that one. Again, I got somebody saying there's a type of heavy duty double-sided sticky tape. Not sure if it'll hold up to the dogs playing. Yeah, that's kind of exactly um, my point and exactly what I've been thinking too. So honestly, if it were like a really special rug that I really was intent on keeping, um, I might be willing to put our floors at risk for that, but absolutely. I'm gonna talk more about this in the update post. I'm gonna do in a little bit here, um, but I don't think the curling is necessarily just because of rug I just think that with our dogs playing on the rugs, it makes the problem a lot worse. So, um, you know, if you're a home that doesn't have pets and you don't have kids that you have to worry about messing up the rug, um, sticky tape might be a viable solution, but there's no way it would hold up to our dogs. And frankly, I think it doesn't make a lot of sense to be taping down a rug that is meant to be easily picked up and thrown in the wash put on the floor and done again the next day if you need to. I'm definitely not about to start spending money on rug tape or sticky tape to try and get a washable rug down. It just doesn't make sense for me. Like I said, I would sooner go back to a rug that I can't wash than start doing that because um, I don't see the point if you have to go through that whole shebang every time you wanna put the rug back down. Okay, here's one saying that ours does not curl up and I think it's because we don't have much overlay so I'm pretty sure it will help. I really hoped it would help too. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, it's happening very slowly. I'm just gonna tell you guys that right now because you've stuck this far along in the video, which I really appreciate. It always helps our ratings. When you guys watch the videos a little bit longer, um, but I did everything I could last time. I wiped down um, the Velcro underlayment, I took all the hair off, and I literally put down that rug so the edge was as close to that Velcro edge as humanly possible. Um, it stuck really well in the beginning. All I'll say right now is that uh, I cannot say that it solved the problem. So unfortunately, um, it's the solution isn't quite as simple as that. Okay, how is the rug now after five times washing and drying? Um, I can't tell you because we've only washed and dried these, the older rug we've done three times. Um, and like I said before, we are starting to see a little fraying on the edges, um, but you know, maybe to be expected there. Okay, here's one that I've been getting a lot. Um, what other brands of washable rugs might you recommend? Unfortunately, I am not a washable rug expert. We have literally only tried the Ruggables when it comes to washable rugs. Um, there is a brand I've heard of called Floor, F-L-O-R, um, which looks pretty cool. I like a lot of their designs. I've never tried them personally. If you guys have tried Floor, um, I would love to hear from you. A lot of people are wondering if that has the same problems that these ruggable rugs have, so um, please, please reach out to me if you tried floor rugs. Um, the other thing is if you just Google washable rugs, a lot of results will come up from like Wayfair um, and from other shopping sites like Overstock. There's just kind of here and there washable rugs. They're not necessarily the whole system like ruggable. Um, so again, I would just Google it and start scrolling through. Unfortunately, I can't really recommend any others because we just don't have the kind of money to be throwing at more and more washable rugs when the first ones aren't working. <sighs> yeah, here's that comment. To try and preserve your color, try the Wool Light Dark Wash Detergent. 
Um, I haven't tried it, but I'm definitely gonna give that a try. Here's a question um, slash comment. I wonder if this curling could be prevented by hang, trying, hang drying as opposed to putting the rug in the dryer. Any thoughts or experience with this technique? Absolutely. Um, we have tried hang drying. We have tried um, putting it in the dryer and neither made any difference. So what happens when we hang dry the rug outside, which we actually prefer to do because it dries quicker that way, we don't have to use more energy. Um, when we dry the rugs outside, they start out flat every single time and put them on the floor and as the dogs play on them, um, they start to curl up pretty quickly just because that underlayment just is not strong enough to grip the edges um, in order to keep it all together. So same thing actually out of the dryer, we don't have the edges curled when it comes right out of the dryer. It goes on the floor flat, and then within the next couple days, leave the cat alone. Goes on the floor flat, and within the next couple days, um, we definitely, unfortunately, see that curling coming up. Hey, mommies. Hey, come here. Leave that kitty alone. Leave that poor kitty alone. They love, they love the kitty. The kitty does not love them. Nope, nope. Okay, another one about drying in the dryer versus hang drying. Um, like I said before, we've done both, doesn't make a difference. Bray up, please. Okay, here's another person saying that they used rug tape on the corners and it worked to fix the curling. Um, I think that is a great solution if number one, you're not worried about your floors, but number two, um, if it's just your corners that are curling. If you guys go back and watch that um, ruggable review that I posted, um, especially in the first one, you can see that it's literally the entire edge is curling up. Once again, I just, I don't know, maybe I'm being too picky, but I am not about to tape down that entire edge every single time um, I wanna wash it and dry it. Even if I did, I don't think it would hold up to these dogs playing. You are the problem. I don't think it would hold up to the dogs playing and it's just not worth the risk of damaging those floors. To me, to me. If it's worth it to you, by all means. I think that if it's only the corners and um, you're able to use rug tape and you don't mind putting in that extra work, go for it. All right, the last biggest question that I am getting over and over is how is the new Ruggable holding up with all the preventative care? Um, how is the new Ruggable? With all the prevention work, um, trying to prevent that curling, how is the new Ruggable doing? That is the most popular question I'm getting right now. Um, and again, because you guys watched this far in this video, I'll tell you, um, we're getting the same problem. Okay, so we kept the edges as close to the Velcro as we possibly could, um, and we actually haven't washed that rug a single time. So we know it's not the washing that's causing the curling. I think it's just um, the underlayment isn't gripping the top part enough, and it's just not holding up to these crazy, crazy, crazy mutts and they're worth it. But you know, like I said, um, if you guys don't have pets or maybe you just have senior pets and um, you don't have to worry about kids running on it, um, I think maybe Rugbull is still a viable solution. I know in that first video, I still did recommend them. Um, and we're gonna keep these rugs until they really fall apart. But at this point now, um, the curling is enough of an issue after trying everything to prevent it that I don't think we'll be getting more, unless something changes. I think Ruggable still could roll out a solution for that curling, and I think if that's the case, um, this is an awesome product. But I think for us, we're probably just gonna go back to the regular rugs that we had um, before we got the Ruggables because um, we never had any curling issues beforehand. Oh my gosh, I'm covered in dog hair. So those are just a few questions that I'm getting kind of over and over. So if you were wondering some of those questions, I hope that helps. Um, I am gonna post a full update in about a month or two um, of that red rug that Ruggable sent us. Behind me, we are as long as we don't have any crazy big accidents, we're not gonna wash it. So you guys can see the amount of curling that it ends up with, um, even with never washing it. And um, then you can decide for yourself if it's worth it, okay? 
So thank you guys for sticking around for this video. Again, if you guys haven't already subscribed to our channel, we would really, really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Really helps us out, makes it more feasible for us to put more time towards these videos because we have a lot of fun talking with you guys um, and we really enjoy some of the friendships that we've started so far um, with people who have started following us on Instagram as well. So if you're not on Instagram with us, our Instagram handle is oak underscore abode. Um, right now we're working on a big dining room table project. so. We're gonna post that video next probably. Is it gross that I let my dog lick my face? I don't let her lick my mouth, but she doesn't She doesn't stop. Um, it's how she says she respects me, right? Anyway, um, we're gonna be posting more about that dining table coming up, and, and if you guys have more questions, please don't be afraid to leave a comment or send us a DM on Instagram. Um, we try to be as responsive as possible on all these platforms, okay? Thank you guys again for your support, and I hope you have a great evening.